สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome back to Tiger in the Kitchen. I'm Pam, and today I'm going to be showing how to make Thai spicy grilled beef salad or น้ำตกเนื้อ Another Thai i s a n recipe is that you love. Great combination of every flavor. All right, let's get started. Here's the ingredients we're going to be using. To make it easy to follow, I'll divide into three parts, which are the beef marinade, the vegetables, and the spicy dressing. All right, let's jump into the first part: beef marinade. 500 g r a m of beef steak, any part you like. I'm using shark steak today. To get good natural flavors, I recommend to use the parts that contain some fat. Then we need palm sugar. Outside of Thailand, palm sugar will come out as a hard form like candy, like this. If you don't have one, you can use brown sugar, oyster sauce, and light soy sauce. To speed up the marinade time and push the flavors in the beef, we're gonna poke the beef with a fork all over. The more holes, the better. Shave the palm sugar thinly to help it dissolves easily. We're gonna need one tablespoon. Put in the mixing bowl. Then a couple tablespoon of oyster sauce. Two tablespoon light soy sauce. Now massage the beef until it absorbs the marinade. Then leave it in the fridge for at least an hour. Part two: Vegetables. We are gonna use some mint leaves. Red onion or shallots. Both are commonly used for this menu. Depends on what you like or have. And I'm proud to present the success of my gardening skill. I grew red onion in a fridge. If you also used to do this, share with me in a comment. And green onion. Another recommended herb to put if it's available in your area is c i l a n t r o or some might call sawtooth coriander. This herb has a little stronger aroma and flavor than c i l a n t r o Just put about a half cup. You'll love to have it. I'm just gonna take and clean some mint leaves. Chop the green onion finely. And slice the red onion. The ratio is not fixed for veggies and herbs. Put as much as you like. Set them aside, and let's move on to the third part: spicy dressing. We're only gonna use four ingredients. First, fish sauce, chili flakes, ground toasted rice or k a u k u a This one you can make easily at home. It's really simple and homemade is better anyway. I'll put the link of how to make it in description below so you can check it out later. And we need a lime. First, put one tablespoon chili flakes or as much as you like. Three tablespoon fish sauce. To get the most juice from a lime, roll or massage it a little bit, then cut it lengthwise around the core, not crosswise, unless you are using a squeezer. This also helps to cut through some of the segment membranes, and then squeeze away. Now pour three tablespoon of lime juice. Mix it up. And taste and adjust to what you like. For ground toasted rice, we are gonna put last. We don't want it to sit in the dressing, soaking up the liquid and turning soggy. We want its fragrance and a little texture from it. Once the marinated beef is ready, let's grill it. You can do it on the grill or the pan, like me. Add a little bit of the vegetable oil. We are on a medium heat right now, and we're gonna wait until the oil warms up. 
Then place the marinated beef on the pan. Medium raw to medium is the cook I recommend for this menu. How long on the pan depends on how thick your beef is. Mine is about 2 cm so it will take around 2 minutes on each side. I never use a thermometer, I just use a finger to poke. If you want more accurate cook, a thermometer would be helpful. One important thing for a juicy steak, never cut the steak right away. Rest it for about 5-10 to 10 minutes because the juices need time to redistribute and be reabsorbed by the fibers. Otherwise, all of the moisture in the center would pour out and you'd lose a lot of flavor and the meat won't be juicy. Then thinly slice, hmm, this is what I'm looking for, a little dark pink in the center. Put in the mixing bowl. Because we've prepared everything else beforehand already, from now it's gonna be quick. Pour the spicy dressing in. Give it a toss. I wish you could smell this right now, it smells so good. But you will once you make this menu. And I'm gonna steal one piece. Mm, Follow with all the vegetables. I'm gonna spare this one for garnishing. At this stage, it smells even nicer. Then the last but not least aroma of this dish, grout toasted rice. This ingredient makes this dish special so we cannot miss it. The stars of all the fragrance from this dish are from grout toasted rice and mint leaves. So with cold and crunchy vegetables, it'll cut the hot taste and give you more texture to go along with this dish and some garnishing. And don't forget a plate of sticky rice. If you want to know how to cook steak rice in a microwave in case you don't have a steamer or rice cooker, the link is also in description. When you eat steak rice, go traditional, use a hand. And that's it for how to make Thai spicy grilled beef salad. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell button for more Thai and Asian recipes every week. Until next recipe guys, สวัสดีค่ะ.